And well, South Africa's former president, Jacob Zuma, has been barred from the upcoming general elections. The country will hold general elections on May 29th, and the Electoral Commission of South Africa says Zuma will be barred from contesting for a seat in parliament because of his criminal record. Now, according to South Africa's constitution, any person convicted for more than 12 months isn't allowed to hold public office. Zuma served as president from 2009 to 2018. He was forced out of office uh, in 2018 because of corruption allegations but still wields political clout. Zuma was sentenced to 15 months in jail in June 2021 after refusing to testify to a panel probing corruption under his presidency. He was freed on medical parole just two months into his term. Zuma's new party, MK, is named after the ANC's former military wing. It was co-founded by Nelson Mandela. The ANC had wanted South Africa's electoral body to deregister MK, but that request was rejected. And for the very latest on this, our correspondent Alison has sent us this report from Durban. Former President Jacob Zuma has been barred from contesting for a seat in Parliament in the upcoming elections. The Electoral Commission of South Africa has confirmed that the objection against Zuma has been upheld according to Section 47 of the Constitution, stating that no person convicted for more than 12 months without the option of a fine is allowed to hold public office. Zuma was sentenced to 15 months in prison for contempt of court in 2021. The IEC chairperson, Masoto Moyepia, has said that Zuma's Mkonto Wesizwe party has been informed that he cannot contest. He was among eight candidates who had been objected against. Meanwhile, Zuma was in a car accident last night at around 6.40 p.m. local time in KwaZulu-Natal. The Presidential Protection Services have confirmed that he was not hurt and is doing well. I'm Alison LaGrange coming to you from Durban, South Africa for We On World Is One. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.